lock pattern. Okay, so lock pattern is one of the concurrency pattern related to threads, and it comes into this becomes a problem, a concern only when we have multiple threads trying to execute a piece of code. So in a single thread system there are not much problems because each section of the code is executed only by one thread and not by multiple threads. So this results into uh, there are n number of issues with a single threaded system but when we try to uh, implement the multi-threaded system there are multiple threads executing uh, being executed concurrently by the system and in that case it may so happen that two threads try to execute the same piece of code at a single point of time and that may result into a uh, very inconsistent behavior. So for those cases this locking becomes important. Now this locking pattern is used to basically protect some pieces of code, some sections of the code which are called critical section. Now what is the critical section? Critical section is basically that piece of code, that module of the code which can be executed by only one thread at any point of time. For example, let us take into account this piece of code which is used for transferring the, uh, the money from one account to another account. Okay, so let us say I uh, I am the customer one of this bank and this customer one has initial balance of ten million in account. Okay. Now I initiate a request to transfer one million from my account to my wife's account. So this piece of code will start. Okay, so here is the code. So code is m is equal to get balance. Okay, this will return 10 million and then deduct 1 million from my account. So now my balance becomes M minus 1 and then add one million into my wife's account. Okay, so these three lines of code are required to be executed when I am transferring 1 million from my account to my wife's account transferring 1 million so if it is a single threaded system then there is no problem the execution will come here it will get the balance from my account which is 10 million then execution will come here it will assign the new balance into my account which is 9 10 minus 1 and then execution will come here which will add 1 to my wife's account and everything will go proper now suppose the, it is a multi-threaded system then in that case this piece of code can be executed simultaneously by multiple threads so let us take the example that thread 1 comes okay thread 1 comes and it reads the balance and the balance is 10 million another thread comes okay second thread comes that also reads the balance m equal to 10 now come to the second step the second step is executed and now m is equal to 
9 and the second thread here that again results into 9 okay <coughs> and then one once I transferred 1 million to my wife's account so it is W plus 1 let's say my wife doesn't have any any money so 1 million goes to my wife's account and in the second thread the task was to transfer the money to my friend's account so my friend F he gets 1 million now you see here the remaining balance in my account is 9 but the balance that gone to my wife and my friend's account is 1 1 million so there is one extra million that got executed so this is clearly not a working thing so what we are supposed to do here is identify such pieces of code that are required to be executed by only one thread at any point of time and identify and secure these these pieces of code so such codes are called critical section okay uh, here you see the problem happened because two threads tried to execute the same code at the same point of time now suppose I secure this piece of code so that only one thread can go and enter into this code and execute all these instructions so what will happen thread 1 will come Now what will happen? Okay. Now suppose this piece of code has been secured. So that only one thread can enter so now thread one comes and starts executing so m is equal to 10 thread two comes and that also starts executing thread two comes and that also starts executing but since thread one is already inside so thread two will go in the wait state okay so now thread 1 m equal to 10 then the next step is m equal to 9 and then in the wife's account 1 million thread 2 is by that time waiting when thread 1 has executed and got got exited from the critical section that time this wait gets over and thread 2 enters into this and that time he sees that m is equal to 9 because the get balance will return 9 and then in the next instruction 9 minus 1 which is 8 and then my friend gets 1 so in this way both the threads they got executed in tandem one after the other and because of that the balance is now insanity so this piece of code that has to be secured this is called critical section and the method by which it is secured is called lock so lock is used to secure the critical section and we'll see how it is done in java so in java basically we have uh, and uh, we have the class called mutex which is used to secure the the critical section of the code okay so let's suppose you have a function here public void transfer fund now in this in this method we get the balance get 
rather. Then we subtract the balance and then we assign 1 million to wife's account and then exit. Now with the mutex this critical section should be executed like this m dot log and in the end m dot unlock okay so the section that came in between this lock and unlock will become critical section and it will be executed by only one thread at any point of time okay there are other ways also to uh, secure this critical section. In Java, there is a keyword called synchronized that is used for synchronizing the entire subroutine. Uh, basically, uh, synchronize. Basically, it is it is used to secure the entire method itself. So, with synchronized we do not require this locking and unlocking. It implicitly means that when this function is called, it is executed only by only one thread at a time. But the flip side of this is that the entire subroutine, the entire method is locked by default. So if only a small portion of the method needs to be locked, then we have to use mutex if the entire function entire method needs to be locked then we can simply use synchronized keyword so that's all about locks